Have you ever watched one of your clanmates three star base and think to yourself, how did he come up with that plan? Well, in today's video, we're gonna break down one of my attacks and provide you with tips on how to attack like a pro. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and we have covered a lot of attack strategies throughout all of our series here on the channel. I mean, we've talked about a lot of different strategies, and a lot of you guys out there are really good at the game. And then there's others that watch these strategies and they're like, what in the world is going on? So in today's video, we're gonna look at one of my attacks, and I wanna walk you through the thought process, because you gotta remember, regardless of the strategy that you're using, and regardless of the town hall level, Level that you're playing you have to understand how to use your attack in order to be successful with the three star correct <laughs> So the attack that we're going to explore today is from the current clan war leagues. We've already completed three wars and we've gotten nine stars total. We've got a perfect 100%. Now there's some things about these attacks that are all very similar in the sense of the attack strategy that I used. I used the minor hog rider hybrid attack and this is not based on the type of base that I faced off against, no. These are literally the best troops that I have available on my town hall 11 right now. I don't have max dragons yet i don't have maxed electro dragons yet this is what i got to use so the point behind stating that is that whether it's town hall 11 town hall 12 13 or even town hall 10 for that matter we've covered that strategy so many different times what a lot of you guys out there fail to realize is that they are literally the same exact strategy just done slightly different based on the town hall level and the amount of troops that you have now always almost always when it comes to the hybrid you're going to start out with a queen walk leading into a queen charge to clear out the enemy clan castle troops and set one side of the funnel for the Base. Then within your second step, you're going to drop a Barbarian King and the Siege Barracks to set the funnel on the opposite side of the base. And then you're going to create that path for your Miners and Hog Riders. <laughs> So that's exactly where it brings us to this particular base right here because it's a very interesting base design we got a town hall in the center we got an eagle artillery a center placed clan castle and then we have one two inferno towers set to single target mode so if i had maxed out witches i would prefer to use witches instead but i have to understand my army in order to make this a three-star attack this big brain time. so when i look at this base and start my plan i I know that I need to get an archer queen into the clan castle and try to eliminate some defenses along the way that's going to inhibit my hybrid attack. Most importantly, the eagle artillery. So that kind of directs my attention to the left side of the village. If I can drop my archer queen right here and maneuver her to the right to go up into this wizard tower, take on this inferno tower and get her into range of the clan castle, step one will be complete and I can move into dropping my barbarian king and my siege barracks but how do we get to that point because we have a lot of buildings all throughout this area and we need to make sure that our queen goes exactly where we want her to go that's where we need our baby dragons and our sneaky goblins to clear out the buildings to make sure you push that queen into where you want her to go so what does that look like exactly well we're going to start on the left side of the village and we're going to drop the two sneaky goblins and an archer to start working on buildings to clear them out and then we're going to drop our archer queen right in the middle notice her placement she could go either left or right but you got to understand how your queen works we got the healers placed we're going to drop that balloon here in a moment to look for seeking air mines to protect our healers and you're also going to see that we dropped a baby dragon down in the bottom corner of this base now notice the baby dragon is clearing out multiple buildings we need to make sure that these buildings disappear as well in order for our queen to go inside so this queen is going to go up she's going to take out an air defense this is very important because you need to protect your healers throughout the entire attack she's going to move towards the murder and you're going to notice that she's going exactly where we want her to go we're going to drop a second baby dragon to clear out those additional buildings to make sure that this queen goes inside after the single target inferno tower now there is an engagement right here that you might need to worry about because we have a barbarian king at level 43 and archer queen at level 49 
if this king was a level 50 we would probably need to use a rage but based on his lower level we're going to be safe and the queen will eliminate this barbarian king let's go ahead and speed that up and get her through that engagement we're going to drop a second super wall breaker to open up the next compartment into the single target and we're going to go ahead and drop a rage spell now you might need to use a freeze spell based on what buildings are around and how long it takes for this queen to get in on that that single target inferno tower but because of this situation right here there's nothing stopping her she's able to go in take out the single target and move into the wizard tower so this queen's going to take out the wizard tower and we're going to drop the barbarian king on the far right side of the screen to start clearing out these buildings right here now i don't really think that this was necessarily a good placement for the king i probably should have placed him maybe over here by this elixir pump instead but we worked with it regardless and he's going to start clearing out buildings with the assistance of the Pekka and wizards from the siege barracks the archer queen has worked her way into the eagle artillery we're going to drop that poison spell and we're going to drop a freeze spell to give this queen time to clear out these enemy clan castle troops that way they do not affect our miners and hog riders she's going to clear them out we're going to drop another rage spell on her and she's going to take out the eagle artillery now you'll notice that the right side has started to be funneled out and we've created that lane for our miners and our hog riders so we're going to use the king's ability and we're going to work our miners hog riders and grand warden into the village this is very similar to every other town hall level that you use this strategy on we're going to create that lane for our miners and hog riders to move inside the village and follow the defenses all the way to the back side of the village while there's also an enemy archer queen obviously up at town hall 12 and 13 you would use a headhunter to help out with this but at town hall 11 we do not have the headhunter so we got our hog riders from the siege barracks working their way in alongside with the miners this is where we need to use our spell management wisely with the heal spells the heal spells are specifically to keep your miners and hog riders alive with one additional free spell to help out with this process <laughs> We're going to use the warden's ability to protect our hog riders as they go through dense locations at town hall 12 and 13 a lot of times you're going to use the warden's ability on the town hall because of the giga bomb from that town hall so in this case at town hall 11 we do not need to worry about a giga bomb we can hold on to our warden's ability to protect our hogs through the very dense locations the miners are going to work up into another section of the base with more defenses and we can use our final heal spell in that placement but you'll notice that there's a ton of troops left over based on being able to get rid of the eagle artillery very early in the attack and the elimination of the clan castle troops this was just a smooth attack based on understanding the entire army not just one based on an example so that was some tips on how to attack like a pro let me know down in the comments below what tips you would include in this video and if you enjoyed today's content make sure to a like on the video consider subscribing and we will see you in the next video